you know, in America, people do make mistakes. They make mistakes, they make poor decisions, they ruin their lives in the decisions they make. But you intentionally chose to harm someone. You intentionally chose to ruin someone's food, put them into a medical situation without their consent, without their knowledge, and in your version of what would make you in a sexually good mood. You see, your version of sexuality is your version. And the Lord's version of sexuality is the Lord's version. But as a pagan and as a priest and as a minister, I can tell you, you violated federal law here. And you thought you'd get away with it because just you and your siblings know about it. Or you've been lying to them all along about what you've done sexually perverted to your little brother's life. You see, what I know about him is something he said one time to your mom and shared with me. Your mom, the gossip of your family, shared it with you and you said, not on my watch. So let's talk about that. Your little brother has hated his body for how long? His entire life. And finally at age 50, he had produced the body he liked. With the help of God, it was being transformed into the right way, the right style, the right weight, the right personage, the right hair on his body, but you and your infinite wisdom and your sassy shitbag sisters thought you'd shave him and alert him to sexuality of his life with the help of your fucking husband? I apologize, but under what fucking guy did Steve or Jeff or your brother Jim have any fucking right to touch his body?